Yeah, what's wrong with the beer we got? I mean, the beer we got drank pretty good, don't it? Hi everybody, welcome to Your Beer Sucks. We're going to drink some beer. We're going to decide whether or not it sucks. Majority rules. Here we go. All right, this is another set of sort of off-the-cuff episodes. We actually literally just went to a gas station and picked up some beer. And put some gasoline in beer bottles. Yes. And... We're going to use those. Again, we do not have show notes. So... Beer number one is uh, Monday Night Brewing, Fu Man Brew, Belgian style wit. Now I've seen these guys for a while. I've wanted to try them, but this is the first time I've ever just gotten around to it. Um, they're out of. But it's Thursday. I know. <laughs> well, their whole thing is like weekday, whatever. Weekends are overrated. Like, are their beers all named after a day of the week? No. No, just oh, okay. just the name of the company is Monday Night Brewing. I would have had more respect for them if. Yeah, they had followed that. Smells thing. like a wit in the bottle. Um, now th- they're. I don't think much of them. Let's see how their beer is. They're based in uh, Georgia, and I know there's got to be something that's localish about them because somebody who lives near my house in Southside Birmingham uh, drives a Monday night. Oh really? Decaled car. Vehicle like it's got a Monday night brewing wrap on it. Oh wow, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know they're I know they're in Georgia somewhere. I feel like Atlanta, maybe. Ah, fuck it. Is it on there? Uh, oh, it's got ginger in it. Ale brewed with ginger. Smells German like Pilsner and white wheat malt with the teensiest bit of crystal malt and an even teensier crystal bit of mess. ginger. Uh, Hallertau hops. 15 IBUs, real light, uh, in terms of bitterness. In the perfect stranger we perceive man himself, the image of a god is not disguised by resemblances to an uncle or doubts of wisdom of a mustache. What? Okay, just, just, you could stop now. Oh, they've got the ad copy on here. An effervescent, easy-drinking wheat beer brewed with Belgian yeast, German hops, and a whisper of ginger from the Far East. This mustachioed Belgian-style wit believes that a good beer defies borders. The name Fuman Brew was crowdsourced with some help from our friends at Scout Mob. They call the mustache a flavor saver for a reason. So. Got it first try. (laughs) All right. <laughs> do you like the background? I do. The uh, now the bloody kisses artwork with the googly eyes. I think we need to discuss the one thing that industrial I will... adhesive on the nose. Yeah. There's there's something very rubber cement. Rubber yep, cement rubber cement. On Dead on. And uh, but it smells otherwise like a wit. Yeah. Wit with rubber cement. Yeah. Not smelling ginger. Mm-mm. You get it. Well, never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll let you figure that one out for yourself. Yeah, I may not. You may be full of shit. I could be. You may have let the ad copy fool you. Maybe I did. That is the weakest wit yes. I've ever tasted. That is weaker than Hogarden. And yes. that is the a ginger. Weak-ass beer. Yeah, you get the ginger on the tail end. But in terms of a wit... Like I'm, I'm thinking getting like, like really mild ginger candy. Yeah, I'm thinking like 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 little candy ginger. Mm-hmm. You get like, uh, yeah. But really mild, not nearly as strong as those. Like no. I mean the ginger is li- there a little what is bit it about but these not enough cast to be beers lately. It's got more body than some of like the flavor is watery, but the mouthfeel is yeah. actually kind of it medium. It does have some yeah. body. Yeah. yeah. It's but not, I'm thinking like in terms of a wit, like like the Oberon versus this, Oberon blows it out of the water. No, no. 
No, this is uninspiring. This is honestly, I would probably like this more if if they went crazy with the ginger, yeah, and just said, "Fuck it, it's mildly wittish," and now we're just gonna go boom, tons of uh, tons of ginger. ginger. I would probably love bit, it then. A little bit more spice. Yeah, like if the like ginger too much. was enough to burn my tongue a little bit. Yeah, that would be cool. But especially if we were eating sushi and we're drinking the beer as a palate cleanser. There you go. Yeah, this is just really, really mediocre. We just could keep not, this beer as a palate cleanser. This is just really not good. Like, it's not bad, but it's just not... There's nothing offensive about it at all. It just doesn't rise to the occasion. This well, is there, not there Superman. Is, there is the nose. There's, oh. some, there's some offensive shit on the nose. Yeah, yeah that, but, but the more I smell it, the more I get used to it, the more that kind of fades, and I don't notice it as much. Yeah, actually, that... That nose is making my actual nose hairs twinge a little bit. And not in a good way. Yeah. Nah, uh, this the- is, uh... That beer sucks. It's just not... It's just not a good beer. There's nothing overwhelmingly bad about it, but there's nothing that just it's, really sets it apart. I mean, it's competent for the most part, other than that, that uh, rubber cement smell. It and just... the crackers. They didn't really, they didn't establish anything with this. It doesn't make a statement of any kind. You know what? This is a fucking phoned in beer. Yeah, it strikes Somebody me that way too. This beer in. Now, I really want to try other stuff by this company because there are people making a big deal about them. And I know most people are dumb, but, but you know, there's a reason why people make a big deal about founders. Yeah. Because they're fucking good. Almost nobody that I've ever met makes a big deal about Southern Tier, but that's because they're fucking stupid. And I stand by that. Oh, yeah, have a cracker, and then the rubber cement comes back. Does it? Tenfold on the nose. After you've had a cracker, yeah. Man. Yeah, it's like... Somebody had their notice in... When they made this beer. Yeah. You're right, it comes back. Actually, because of the little bit of um citriness citrusiness that you get from like a wit. Yeah. That orange smell. Actually sort of reminds me a little bit of the um the uh rubber cement the orange smelling rubber cement that I used to use when I was a kid to put together models. Star- Starship Enterprise models. Yeah. Are you talking about the safe kind or the kind that gets you high as shit? I think that stuff was safe, maybe. I mean, I never got high on it, but My I dad never told tried. Me I couldn't have the non toxic kind. Really? He said part of the experience. <laughs> um, I'm high as shit now. It didn't actually <laughs> happen, but it would be cool if it had. Yeah. <laughs> well, I but, mean, I actually did have the but, toxic kind and would get high as shit, but I did. Star Trek stuff, yeah. helicopters, fucking and cars. And the thing that was stuff. fun is like making a big like model of the Enterprise. Afterwards, like long after it dried, that thing would smell like oranges and like I don't know, like whatever is in nail polish remover, acetone. 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 Yeah, it'd smell like oranges and acetone. Well, you know, we might can put a little acetone in this. I don't know. It's got enough ass already. Let's not do that. All right. Monday Night Brewing Fu Man Brew sucks. Fuck it sucks. 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 Mm. sucks ass. Sucks in a disappointing way, too. Yeah. Bummer. It's a bummer beer. That's what this is, a bummer beer. It's like, I guess that's why it's called Monday Night. <sighs> uh, Monday nights are bullshit. Yeah. That's that first evening where you're like, man... I got my ass kicked today. And I have four I'm more, u- four more days. Four of more this. fucking days, and I'm not used to it right now because I had a couple of days of happiness, where I got to just do whatever I wanted and play video games and run through a field. Yeah. And now I'm back to a shitty corporate, thankless, evil, low-paying grind. Um. Damn. And you're trying to get a little bit of, um relaxation recompense for it but then you open this fucking beer and and you're like uh and you're like this just makes me feel like I did earlier today (laughs) 
when my boss was giving me shit or right. my coworkers were giving me shit or my customers were giving me shit. This beer is giving me shit, man. It's hassling me. This beer is hassling us. <laughs> Let's sink it. Next beer is seasonal release Lagunitas Imperial Pils. Piss? Probably. Uh, when you think about it, calling any pills an Imperial Pils is somewhat ironic. At the time of its creation, in the dim recesses of post Stone Age, pre Xbox European, European city states, the Pilsner style what? was indeed the imperial beer of its time, putting every other... Is that like a sociological marker now, pre-Xbox? I, I feel guess. like that's a really, really dumb marker. Just saying, as someone who previously studied sociology. That's putting just... every other more colorful beer Why of its time to shame amidst a revolution of thermometer making. And without a doubt, its reign Wait, was long. Wait, they put mercury in it? What? No. Oh. Now American born ales have usurped all of the imperialness there is to usurp and for the pills to rise again like every aspiration ridden social ladder climbing creature on the planet it must further evolve. Did they get a what? fucking did they get a fucking like schizophrenic person to, to just write, write that? that? Yeah, it's all over the place. This is that exclamation point. We have <laughs> made we have made our own not so ordinary pills every week of the year since 1996 and we have come to respect its stature in our own brewery world but Darwin never sleeps evolution persists the weak are meat and the strong will eat and now this brew has happened further 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 come see us sometime or just call and then there's a phone what the fuck that's so weird these people are so fucking weird. Hey, can we like vote a beer off without ever even having opened it? No, we have to try it. And I say oh, that God. as somebody who hates Pilsners, and I am really This better worried. be fucking good after that shit, but it won't be. Imperial An Pilsner? Imperial Pilsner. Take like, everything I hate about beer. And amp it up. And amp it up to an incredible degree. Either that's going to make it good or make it Even worse. Shit. Don't say anything. An Imperial Pilsner. I don't even think I've even heard of an, an, an Imperial Pilsner. I have to say the head is pretty. It does have a nice lacy head to it. That's what she said. But it, lo it looks, just like looking at it, it looks very carbonated. This smells like a Pilsner. But it's got, it's it's very hoppy. It's got like yeah. IP, IPA level hops. It smells like pee pee. Yep. Yeah. It's weird. You know what? This one is there. Is there some like rubber cement open in this room somewhere? Because I'm getting rubber cement on the fucking nose no. of this one too. I'm not getting it on this. No. There is a lot of hoppy citrusiness. Okay, yeah. I think it was just yeah. But there is a bit of a bit of pee pee. A little bit of pee pee. This be well. Here, I'll let you guys have a sip. I want to hear your thoughts before I say anything. Okay. What the fuck? What is this? Okay. So Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the very moment it hits my tongue, I go, Oh, no shit, this is going to be good? And then I swallow it and it goes, Oh. Yeah. It's, it starts out like a hoppy IPA. Yeah. And then it just... Disappears. Even before I swallow it, it just... It's guys. Yep. Dude, this has no finish. I know. It's just there like, is nothing there. This tastes like just... It tastes like the crackers I was just eating before. It's like, take a sip, swallow it, and whatever may have been in your mouth has been magically erased. I hate the hops in this. Yeah, I figured you would. No, no, no. I mean, like, not my usual hate hops. Like, whatever kind of hops these are, this... Is very offensive to me, and I, it has a finish that won't go away. That's unpleasant. Really, really? your finish doesn't go away. And it's unpleasant. Mine's like, <laughs> mine's like, what finish? 
What finish? It doesn't exist. It, 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 there is nothing there. I taste zero. And I tried to like give it a minute to like let it sink in, like let it sit around in my mouth. Nope. Even with that, the finish is gone. The flavor, when you first take a sip, goes immediately from big and bold and hoppy to watery to dead. Yep. Now, I'll say this. Like, on the palate, there is some interesting complexity going on. You know, maybe a little bit of fruitiness or something somewhere. Uh-huh. That's probably from the hops. But then, it just turns into chalky, soapy shit that won't go away from... I'm trying to just even get any any note of finish out of this at all, and yeah. I can't. It's it it like sucks all flavor out of my mouth. This as beer literally it. sucks. It literally sucks. Yeah, and mm. the the kind of hops that are in it, it sucks are real citrusy, and I usually like those. And yeah, there's something about it that I'm attracted to, but yeah, then it, it just titties. No well, titties, but then it just fails me. Mm. Um. This is another very ephemeral beer. Yeah, it is. I was expecting this to either be amazing or craptastic, and instead it's just... It just falls flat. Yeah. What if our fate, guys, is to taste thousands of beers that do nothing but create ennui? Maybe that's... <laughs> If, if that's... Like we want, we want to think it's like, oh, this one's amazing. This one's fucking terrible. Something that inspires something in us. This we've this had is just probably a sh- most of it. We've yeah, we've had a, a <laughs> we've lot had of a beers string, lately. We've had a string of just really mediocre, uninspired, just really like not really, not really good or not really bad. It's just like <sniffs> if it weren't for the finish, I could drink this. If that yeah. says anything. I don't, I don't. That's interesting because you guys are like, what finish? Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't get that finish at all. It's if you're against IPAs like I am, if you don't really like them, if hops give you soapy shit, you'll probably hate the finish of this beer. Apparently, people who are normal, or maybe I'm the normal one. Who knows? Anyway, guys, more with more like your palates will probably just find the beer really uninspiring. Yeah, like. The again, like the the longer it sits, the more I get used to it. That sort of pissiness you're talking about, mm-hmm. that was mild to begin with. It's pretty much gone. I'm just smelling good smelling like okay. citrusy hops. Yeah. And I've kind yeah. of decided after giving it some time that I, I, I do like the way it smells. I find yeah. I find the smell very I like inviting. The, I like the nose, but in terms of the way the beer tastes, it's just it's just not God, good. God, that's that is so Man, I think ephemeral is being is is bestowing upon it too much longevity. Ephemeral is a great word, by the way. Yeah, it is. But this is this is instantaneously gone. Yeah, I mean, you can hardly tell it's there. So yeah, I guess I, I guess you're right. Ephemeral is maybe a bit strong of a word. I, it's it's too charitable. I mean, it's just. Wow. I have never had anything that just flavor dissipates so instantly. I've had water with more lasting flavor. Jesus. I've had vodka with more lasting flavor. Oh. Vodka has no flavor. Vodka sucks. I mean, by design, it's flavorless, colorless, odorless. No. And I've had vodka that stuck around longer than this. It's This is amazing. This is a freak of nature. But... What it isn't is a beer. This beer sucks. Verdict, everyone? This beer is someone with 17 toes. What does that mean? Well, I mean, he's that freak of nature, but it's not in a, you know, an interesting or useful way. <laughs> yeah. Well, does the beer... Does this beer suck? It sucks ass. Yeah. There you go. It's got a... It's this got, beer's fucking terrible. It's got a triple appendix. Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, how bad must it be for people who have completely different taste in beers to hate it for different reasons. Yeah. How bad does it have to fucking be? Yeah. This <laughs> this goes nowhere. And I've had beers by Lagunitas that I liked. As oh, yeah? But this is uh no. This this is bullshit. This is garbage. This is bullshit and it's a big ridiculous story on the side is extra super duper bullshit. 
I am very, very disappointed. Another phoned in fucking beer. Yeah, they put more effort into writing that Ad insane it, in, story. Into and then into making the beer. Yeah. <clears throat> no. Sucks. Fuck them. Sucks. All right, last beer for this episode is another blue pants. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I'm just I'm I'm like in a shitty mood now because of all the boring ass beers we've had tonight. This is I was gonna say this is the fourth episode we've done in a row this in a evening. single evening, and I'm sure at this point, if if you've watched all of the previous episodes, you would have noticed how many just really. Not even middle. I, I guess those are middle of the road beers. They're just just not good, but they're not really especially bad. And it's just like they're not inspiring. I'm guy. just I'm just really hoping for a beer that makes me feel something. You know, well, Blue Pants Brewery again. We didn't like the last one, but we liked the first one we ever had, which wasn't on the show. But fuck them, it doesn't matter. This is it was on our show. Yeah. This is Blue Pants. Peanut butter pinstripe stout. So. Th- wait. Wait. What? This says 80% ABV on it. Yeah, he and I noticed that in the store. What? They forgot to put a decimal. 80, 80%. Well, I don't know. Yeah, it's got, yeah, got to be 8.0. Either that or it's some pretty reasonably priced pure grain alcohol almost. Okay. The... Grand total of ad copy on it is export stout with peanut butter flavor. Well, based on our previous experience with very, very short ad copy, that bodes well. But we'll see how it actually... Bodes well, but we will see. Yeah, please. Just be inspiring. Just either... Good or bad. Brilliant or shit-tastic. One of my favorite... a really cool color to it. Yes, with a very, very tan head. One of my favorite beers that I've ever had, actually, is a peanut butter porter done by Beer Engineers. Who I think I think they're out of Huntsville as well. Beer Engineers? Yeah, Beer Engineers. They're probably, probably the fucking... Name. They're probably fucking, like, NASA guys or probably. something. Probably. And they made one hell of a beer. Unfortunately, it was, a, it was a very limited release, and I haven't seen it since. I get the peanut butter. Peanut butter is very strong, chocolatey, yeah, roasty. But, yeah, the peanut butter isn't overwhelming. It's like it's, a... It's like a, a peanut Reese butter cup. and chocolate toast yeah. sandwich. Yeah. That smells delicious. It smells, yeah, it yeah, smells delicious. Very inviting, very delicious smelling. Let's see what it tastes. All right, here we go. Where is any of that on the palate? Man. Man. Dude, seriously? Dude, this isn't a fucking stout. This is a porter. porter. It's a porter. Man. This is totally a porter, and none of that peanut butter or chocolate or anything that you can smell. It's not even all that fucking roasty when you taste it. I mean, it's a little bit, but... I get... Okay, I get a little bit of... And also, notice how it has no body. Yes. None. It's it is watery. Thin, carbonated, watery. I do get a little bit of the peanut butter, but that's it. Just a little bit. I'm not getting jack fucking shit of peanut butter. And you know something? It has a little bit of that much lighter beer than it is funk to it. Yeah. A little bit of that pissiness that you almost never see in porters and stouts. I don't really Not get that. Not on the nose, but on the palate. Yeah, I don't really get that. You don't get that? No, I don't. But It smells good, but... It, it's a little bit tart like the other blue pants we tried. Yeah. But... This is... Another... God damn. This is just not good. It's pretty hopped for a stout, too. Part of the definition of a stout is that they are fairly heavily hopped. Yeah. But there, but there's but so much the malty malt bitterness. That it sort of covers it up. It, yeah. it balances, but this is malty on the level of a porter. So it's not... This isn't a fucking stout. 
You know what? This is this is a a particularly weakly body porter at that. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm like I'm going back to like the bells that we had that one um, time. That I've was... come to be a big big fan of porters as opposed to stouts. Yeah. And well, to, but to this isn't fair, doing it for me. To be fair, uh, stouts go wrong a lot of the times and get just really acerbically fucking bitter. And sometimes people, I don't know what they, I swear to God, I think they put chocolate syrup in some of them. Like, just yeah. after the fact. Porters, I think, are probably easier to get in balance. A lot of the porters that I've had are, that are good, the really good ones are really, like, complex and stuff in ways that it seems like people have more trouble with the stouts. But Yeah. But, but this, this, I don't even know if this is a porter. Because it really doesn't even have enough body or the right flavors or anything to even it be a It might just be a really dark brown ale. Yep, that's all. Here's the thing. To say. Get it in your mouth and think about it. Where's the dark roastiness? It, There's it's not no even roastiness. There. No. Is this get... like artificially colored or something? Yeah, it tastes like a brown that's ale. A, yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. It has that... Uh, uh, yeah, brown ale, which is yeah. and not even a particularly good brown ale. No. And it tastes like we've had several beers that taste different from how they smell, but totally this is the biggest disconnect. Because like it smells great, it smells amazing. It smells I got like I got excited when I smelled this. Yeah, beer. I was the like, smell, "Whoa!" The smell had me expecting like a full-bodied stout with a lot of roastiness, and I was expecting peanut butter to come out of it. You know, no, yeah. nothing, nothing when but you then taste it's it. Like brown ale. Mediocre fucking brown ale. God I don't know, damn man. it! What the? And fuck? it's metallic too. It tastes like it came out of a can. Yeah, uh, yeah, it does have a little bit yeah, of metallic I get that. to it. Yeah. I mean, wow. I'm, I'm rethinking my life choices at this point. You know, somebody's full of shit. Yeah. And I don't appreciate it. Neither do I. Not I don't like being right. hoodwinked. Nope. We got fucking hoodwinked on that one. Like... Like, and this is supposed to be a fucking stout. And it's not even a porter. None of that body at all. Nothing. Just... That is... And after the aroma, the the way the palate crashes is one of the most disappointing things I've ever had. Mm-hmm. It's... It's almost like physically painful that it shits on itself that fucking messily. Jesus. My saliva has more body than this does. Because as I swished, I swished around my mouth for a long time, that time I was like, come on, where's some fucking flavor? And you know, it... it uh, Your salivary glands, yeah. they start going and then... And then it, it, it suddenly had more body. And <laughs> I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's just incredibly disappointing. That is one of the most shitty, disappointing things ever. And I've got four of them. I'm stuck with four of these pieces. Well, that, well shit. now, now you have three. We, uh, uh, we helped a little bit. Maybe I'll like give them out to trick or treaters or something. That's a good idea. Because yeah. you're seeing this in November, but we're recording this in October. Um. I don't know. It's... This I, don't, this I just is, don't know what else to say about it. No, like, this kind of disappointing, though, is insulting. It's fuck you bad. Yeah. Because in it's, my opinion. It's not even the style it claims to be. No. Not no, even... Not even... This is so fucking shitty bland that I took a bite of this cracker and it tasted fruity. Yep. <laughs> The cracker is the, the the way these unsalted crackers, un, unsalted generic crackers. I prefer the taste of the unsalted cracker to the beer. Yeah, these are Me delicious too. now. Yeah, we have we have a whole other sleeve of those. Fuck you, you asshole! This beer sucks. Blue pants. Look, we know you're capable of good things. This we know you are because we've had good things. The milk stout was good. At least on draft. That was a stout. Yeah. And it was milky. It was good. But this? What the fuck is this shit? 
I think we're not only mad, but we're disappointed. I'm I'm angry and disappointed. I'm I'm affronted by this fucking beer. This this is like I'm really angry because we're out of fucking beers. We have nothing left to do another episode tonight. And we're left with this. And we're left with this. Yeah, and the thing is, I think we went to the gas station to try to salvage the night. Yeah. And what we ended up with was a fuckload of disappointment. You know what? You know what? Blue pants, blue balls. Blue balls. Blue balls. That's right. Yeah. And and I'm starting to wish ill upon them after this This isn't one. even banging the ugly chick, man. This is just nothing. You got nowhere. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. All right. Fuck this beer and fuck you. Yeah, I just, I don't, I'm rethinking my life choices. All right, everybody, we, uh, we did the beer thing and we're, we're trying to stave off, uh, massive amounts of depression now. And we're, we're going to go get some drugs or something because beer isn't doing it anymore. And just remember that life's too short to be caught drinking shit like this. I mean, this is just, fuck you, whatever. Bye.